Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the flex shrink property to shrink items. So far, all properties in the challenge apply to the flex container, the parent of the flex items. However, these are, uh, however, th there are several useful properties for flex items. The first is flex shrink property. When it's used, it allows an item to shrink if the flex container is too small. Items shrink when the width of the parent container is smaller than the combined widths of the flex items within it. The flex shrink property takes a number takes numbers as values then the higher the number the more it will shrink compared to other items in the container for example if one item has a flex shrink value of one and the other has a flex shrink value of three the one with the value of three will shrink three times as much as the other add the css property flex shrink to both box one and box two and give box number one a value of one and box number two a value of two so we've got the box container is this overall size, both of these, and then the box one and box two are in here. Box one is Dodger blue, and box two is this orange red. And what we want to do is give these a flex shrink property where the blue is uh, a value of one because it's the initial box one. And then here we have the flex shrink is equal to two here. So what does that do? It gives it a two-thirds thing. Let's say we were to give it to uh, one and three. Then we'd have uh, one and like a, you know, this would be three quarters of it and this would be one third of the size. And uh, yeah, that's essentially what they're doing. You can play around with this. You can make this like three and two and that would shift it over there. Maybe make it five and two. It's going to get closer. Ten and two. It's going to be one tenth or one fifth of the, of the overall space. And so uh, that's how flex shrink works within a box container where the display is set to flex. If we run the test, it'll pass. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.